Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the month of July of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. All right, we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like July for maybe all of you is going to be about um I feel like there's been kind of like an elephant in the room within some sort of situation in your life in the recent past Taurus and it's kind of like this month you're not only getting to the truth about this elephant in the room but it's like the elephant is not going to be there anymore it's like it's just not going to occupy any time any space any energy I feel like you're going to get some sort of relief here um, kind of like this situation has been long overdue to get resolved. Like it's been, it's been here for too long. I feel like you're finally going to get some sort of relief, some sort of answer, some sort of clarity. It's like something is just going to be, you know, dealt with once and for all so that it doesn't continue to be an obstacle in your path. And right behind the three of swords at the bottom of the deck is the three of wands. So almost like the universe is saying, yes, we're finally going to deal with this. We're going to tackle it. And then boom, your path is cleared. It's no longer an obstacle. Now we just have open space. So I love that. All right. We also have the King of Swords, Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So that Page of Swords to me is you seeking that truth. This is you going out there and trying to find the answers. I feel like in July, there's something about a person that you're connecting to or maybe even a group of people. I feel like there's been some lack of authenticity or transparency about something almost like someone has been trying to um, not take something away from you but kind of remove an opportunity for you to advance in some way shape or form whether it be because it is something that's happening you know without them even being aware of it whether it's intentional right it just kind of feels like someone has been trying to or just simply has kept you from going in a direction that you've wanted to go maybe this is in your work life right? Maybe it's a coworker, a boss. It's like something unfair has been happening and you have, you've been trying to navigate it and deal with it as best as possible. But I feel like July is finally where you're like, you know what? Enough is enough. I can't keep waiting for this to, you know, just resolve itself. I'm going to take some sort of action. So I feel like with the King of Swords, this is you either dealing with somebody, maybe um, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or this is you saying, I'm officially going to do something about this. I kind of feel like with the Eight of Swords, this has been affecting you in multiple ways. But for the most part, I feel like it's been a situation where you have started to feel like you have no control. Maybe you feel powerless and, and that's not a comfortable feeling. And I feel like you don't allow that to happen for too long without you finally doing something. And this is proof of that. You know, you're finally saying, yeah, I've reached my limit. I can't do this anymore. I need to take some sort of action because I don't like not feeling like I don't have control or yeah. And I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, this is about you needing to establish some sort of boundary because I feel like you have been very welcoming, very open to something, and now you're starting to see the true colors. So July is kind of like you reel it back in and you say, okay, hold on, I need to reevaluate how much I trust this because it's starting to not be what I think it is. Let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Swords. two of wands. Yeah, that's the thing. You're trying to move forward um, and something about this situation has just kind of been a little bit of a distraction or an obstacle and I feel like you just do not have time for that. So you're going to you're going to do something about this. We have the 9 of cups, the 3 of cups and the knight of pentacles. So this is you slowly but surely reaching that solution. Um seeking the answers, finding what you need. With the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups, there's also something about you needing to give yourself a little bit more credit or needing to take care of yourself at this time. Kind of like emotionally, maybe you've been going through a lot of things. You're starting to feel depleted from this situation. So the universe is like, okay, Taurus, we need, in order to find the solution, if anything, we need to care for ourselves. We need to love ourselves, take care of ourselves. So I feel like self-care is going to be huge this month. Um, some of you may need to you know, go on a vacation or book a little trip or something. It's kind of like with the Three of Cups. Some of you maybe want some quality time with your loved ones, but you've just kind of been dealing with this and you haven't had the opportunity. I feel like this could be a really good month to try and squeeze that in because I feel like it's going to help you. Um, 
I feel like that's the advice that the universe wants to give you. Is Taurus, just give yourself some some time, some love, um, some fun, some play. I feel like that's going to help you feel a lot better because this situation has been taxing. Um, and right behind the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. So very similar to what we got at the beginning, there's this uh, kind of like mirroring going on, right? We saw the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. Now we're seeing Two of Wands, Two of Cups, almost like numbers are repeating to allow you to, you know, see that you can transform the energy, right? It's up to you. So I feel like right behind the Two of Cups, well, right behind the Two of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like this confirms that things are going to really change for the better here. But it will take you prioritizing yourself in order to really activate that. Because um, a lot of you have not been prioritizing yourself because you have felt like you don't have the time. And I feel like the universe is saying, Taurus, we have to make time for ourselves. There is no other way. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. All right, we have the King of Cups. So maybe you're connecting to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, maybe this is about the emotions. I kind of feel like your emotions have been affected here. That Eight of Swords is that feeling of, you know, feeling stuck, feeling like there's no way out. I kind of feel like you need to set yourself free from that. We have the Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, which is Capricorn, and the Five of Cups. So yeah, there's been a lot of sadness. There's been a lot of Again, some toxic energy is coming through here for you. I feel like you are maybe starting to recognize this for the first time, kind of like you've been very, again, open, welcoming, um, and understanding to an energy that doesn't either deserve your sympathy or is, again, intentionally or unintentionally causing harm. I feel like you're finally recognizing this, though, and that's why you're going to feel empowered to make some sort of decision. So with that fool, with that eight of pentacles, it's kind of like you're saying, okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith here, but really it's more like a leap of necessity, right? It's not even a leap of faith for you, Taurus, because you know that you have to walk away from this if you're going to feel better. So with that eight of pentacles, you're putting the steps in place to remove yourself from a situation that doesn't serve you. And it feels like this may be the general theme of July for you because it may require steps, right? It can't just be a one day thing or overnight thing, right? It's like you may have to do this slowly but surely because maybe the situation is complex. Maybe for some of you, it's work related, right? So maybe you have to have a conversation first and you need to give your two weeks notice. Maybe you need to train somebody. It's like there's nothing about life is so simple that it's like a snap of the finger is going to change it, right? So I feel like this is universe saying there's steps involved and it's going to take some time, but you're doing it. This is the beginning of that change, right? This is the beginning of this transformation because you deserve it. You've been dealing with this. You've been hurting from this. It's time to give yourself, you know, a chance for relief. So really love that. Let's clarify the King of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, again, someone um, may have been creating this situation or making it more difficult than it has to be you know we have the two of swords the knight of wands and the seven of swords so right there with that five of wands at the bottom of the deck it's kind of like there's been this tension there's been this disagreement or just general uncomfortable energy brought about by another person i kind of feel like the knight of wands is you wanting to just run away and escape from it altogether but then something about the reality or the circumstances is you realizing, okay, I can't just do that, right? I have a block here and then I've got this situation there. So I feel like with the Seven of Swords, maybe there was some sort of, you know, unfair treatment, some deception, some betrayals. I feel like with the Two of Swords, again, you try to give it the benefit of the doubt or you try to be patient. You try to give it some time. But I feel like this is you finally recognizing I have to do something. You know, I can't change other people, but I can change myself or I can change what I do or how I react. So this month for you, Taurus, is not only about empowerment and the motivation to, you know, change a situation for yourself, but I feel like it's also you recognizing that it's okay for maybe it's okay to be disappointed. You know, maybe for some of you, you're just genuinely disappointed in something or someone because you never thought that it could be that way, especially when this is, you know, about a, a person that we're connecting to, if it's a career that we love or a job that we really enjoy, right? People, the things in the environment can really change that for us. And it can be disappointing 
But if we are going to move on with our lives and we're going to keep loving ourselves and putting ourselves first, then we have to be okay with these disappointments, right? We have to accept that at some point. And I feel like for you, this month is about that. But again, for the purpose of setting yourself free so that you no longer are afflicted or in pain or struggling with anything that is outside of your control. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.